just uh, left a meeting talking about uh, employee retention and uh, financial planning. Um, some ideas for just business owners getting together and talking, uh, talking about some different ideas that they have for retaining key talent. Now heading back to the office, had a great opportunity yesterday to uh, talk with Chris Kaminsky a little bit, came out. Now I'm gonna have some other opportunities later this week to uh, also have some more conversations with other people uh, in the West Michigan area that are, are doing some pretty cool things. So uh, check that out. here with uh, Steve Waringa of Perception Engineering. He's gonna, gonna talk 3D printing, design, 3D everything. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, Perception Engineering and what sure. we got going on here and how I kind of got into 3D printing. I know you know the story, but I can give a little bit more detail. So I actually, my buddy Dan Coster, you know Dan, uh, we were sitting on the couch just Google searching. You know, we are really the business entrepreneur. We want to start a business. Um, kind of just looking into what new technologies we thought were going to be hitting in the next few years and kind of where the industry was going in manufacturing. He's got a degree in plastics engineering. Obviously, I have a degree in mechanical engineering. So we kind of got together. We were sitting on the couch just Google searching 3D printing. Uh, there was a, I want to say it was like an SLS 3D print of a uh, wrench that they pulled out of the powder and it was like a working wrench. And my mind was just like, what? <laughs> completely blown. For sure. And so the, the next few days we started researching as to the, like, what type of printers can we get that we can actually afford and just start playing around with this technology. Um, that's what kind of led us to the Lulzbot task. And about two years ago, so it was like two years into you having your Lulzbot, yep. we reconnected and we were talking and that was when I was working in your basement a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you were like, hey, you just got the flash forge, so I don't think you needed it. The Lowell's bot as much right. as the other one. They're like, hey, we're working together, learn this technology. So you let me have it for like four or five months or something like that. And then, so, uh, yeah, that was like, it had to be like two years ago. Like, pretty sure. So I've been at this for two years because of him. He's like the, the papa. Good morning and welcome to the vlog, vlog 25. It's uh, a beautiful sunrise this morning, getting things started on a Wednesday. Uh, some great opportunities yesterday. Uh, not only meet with the team a little bit, but uh, also to meet up with some clients, some potential clients. Uh, had golf clinic last night, uh, so clubs are still in the car. Um, and then uh, ready to hit back at it today. Uh, lawn day yesterday, gonna be another lawn day today. Get some opportunities to talk with um, some more people um, that are like minded individuals going through the process of building a business. So, excited to show some of that and uh, get a little bit more other people than uh, my face on this vlog. So, not making that a priority. Uh, yeah, this uh, heat. Typically, able to just open the door and get a little cool air in the morning, so then it's not so hot through the rest of the day. Um, they don't have AC back here yet in the uh, back office, so let's see if anyone else has gotten in this morning yet. Pretty quiet. Start up pretty soon. way out to Grand Rapids to film episode three of the journey so I'm pretty excited about this week Heading to Grand Rapids got about another uh, 26 miles to go sorry Kirk gonna be a little late all I see is red on my map oh well to Vibrant Life uh, Chiropractic a little bit late, so hopefully Kurt hasn't locked us out. Let's go see. Yep, so um, it 
So welcome to The Journey. This is episode three of The Journey. I'm excited to be here with Dr. Kurt Lang uh, this week and get a little bit of his background and kind of what led him into what he's doing today. I'm not going to give it all up. I'm going to let him go through and explain it for us. So, uh, Kurt, thanks Great. for coming. Thanks for having me, Well, Steven. I guess thanks for letting me <laughs> yeah. come out to your place. Uh, it's a really nice you. facility you have here, and thanks Thank for uh, showing me around a little bit before we got a chance to, to film this. Now, 12 weeks in, uh, what are some of the things that you've run into over those 12 weeks that you're just kind of like, wow, that's not something you expected, or that's a little bit different? I, I know by your smile you got some stories, and I know we talked about some of them already. So. Oh, yeah. Well, we see all different types of patients for different things. We've had people crawling in here in pain. We've had people crying because they've lost loved ones, they've lost jobs. We've had kids on the autism spectrum. We have kids that kick the walls in. <laughs> ruin our brand new paint yeah but it's you great put the blood, i love it tears into it <laughs> yeah i love it i remember before we even opened and it looked beautiful it was just pristine state-of-the-art everything looked great and i i was already saying it before before we opened the doors and i said i want so many people in here and so many kids it should look like somebody's house that that has kids because that's where we, that's how we want them to feel we want them to feel comfortable when they come in and that they can bring their kids here and it's a welcoming open environment where the kids can walk and play and move and that way when we're taking care of mom and dad or grandma and grandpa the kids can can still color and and play with games and hopefully be off some of their technology and yeah. just unwind for a few minutes oh, thanks again. Hey, thanks everybody yeah. appreciate it got done filming uh, episode three of the journey with uh, Kurt Lane. Thanks again, Kurt, uh, for your time. Uh, pretty excited to get that posted. You guys check out the journey video. Uh, post that up at the end of end of the vlog. So make sure you check that out. Uh, check out how uh, Kurt has been building this uh, business over the last 12 weeks and kind of some of the things that he's gone through, some of the struggles and and just inspiring to hear uh, some more stories of, of where these entrepreneurs and uh, different business owners in West Michigan are taking their businesses. So uh, be sure to check that out and thanks again, Kurt. So we got Chris here from MI3D. Chris, uh, why don't you just talk a little bit about what that is and what you guys got going on? So earlier this year, I go to this uh, 3D printing conference down in Indiana, and it was all it was focused on 3D printing mostly. But everybody was just so hyped up and just so passionate about it. And I got home just so fired up. I'm like, man, why don't we have something like this here? <laughs> and after like a month or 
two of just sitting around, like you say, not doing anything about it, I start to talk to the movers and shakers in Grand Rapids and like, guys, let's do this. They'd express interest. So essentially what my 3D is right now is a professional networking event club, you could say. We've had speakers uh, come in for our first two meetings and talk about their products or their services. So for the first month, there's a local 3D print company called Move 3D. Yep. Okay. So it's run by a guy named Dean. He developed his own uh, DLP projection based printer. So it uses a resin based printer and a light source. Um, he came and talked about his product, his process, ups and downs of struggles he's had and people ask questions. The next meeting we had a guy who does ice sculptures in Grand Rapids reach out to us and he wanted to host it at their facility because they, they do some cool stuff down there. They're using like 3D scanning, they're, they do CAD stuff sculpting all the time. Um, they have CNC's that they use to cut out the ice. Got so a lot of 3D technology. So he kind of hoped it hosted an open house and just let people come in and see everything, which was awesome. It was like, I was like, this, this could be like this all the time. I just want to see how people in industry in West Michigan or even Michigan are using 3D technologies yeah. to change the world. Right. So awesome. So talk a little bit about how it got started. Now, what's next? What's do you have any meetings lined up as far as? Yeah, actually, a week from tomorrow. So that, yeah, I don't know what date that is. Let's see, today is the tomorrow will be the twenty seventh. So Tuesday, June twenty seventh, we're gonna be meeting at our default space right now. It's okay. a collab workspace called Little Space. So if you go to if you go to my mi three d dot co, it'll take you right right to the address and. That, that space is just donated as a default space for us that we can use. So we're gonna have a guy from Kendall College who runs a wood shop now. He used to be an instructor in industrial design. He runs his own wood shop. And he's gonna come talk about industrial design and 3D technologies. So printing, scanning, CAD, anything. He's learned along the way and how he applies it to his woodworking. Cool, Chris, thanks.